What's up, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Hector Flores coming at you with a video. And the Astros are on to the American League Divisional Series, and it'll be in Dodger Stadium, weirdly enough. But you know what? It's 2020. It's fitting that this is where it's going. So this will be my preview for the ALDS matchup between the Oakland Athletics. So get ready for it, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Soft Sports. If you guys have not yet, click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this or when we do our live streams from Monday to Friday around 6 p.m. Central Time or on Texans Game Day when we have it an hour before the game and immediately after for the post-game show. If you guys want some sort of deeper discussion, um, join, the, join the Discord. You got two options, man. You either join the Patreon, sign up for that $5 tier, or you become a member of the YouTube channel and you sign up for that super saucy tier. Both options lead you into the Discord where you can chat up with guys that are also Discord members or guys from the round table and of course, Mr. Saucy, Ed Honcho himself. So without further ado, let's get going with this video. So let's go ahead and talk about the wild card round. So the Astros sweep the Minnesota Twins and for some of you guys that weren't aware, the Astros had to play a three best of three series against the Minnesota Twins because they were the higher seed and that's why they played in Minnesota in case people weren't just aware of what was going on and I don't want to hear anybody saying that this is, this format should stay no go back to the original format this is this is just for a 162 game season this is not gonna work if it's for a 60 game season which under these circumstances I'm all for it but for 162 games no stick with three division winners and two wild card teams and that's fine if you want to make it somewhat competitive maybe add one more wild card team and let the top the the number one seed maybe get i guess a buy and then you sort out the rest but i don't want similar to what the nfl is if that's gonna if that's how you're gonna change it that's fine but i do not want to see this format ever again that's just my my little soapbox there but the actuals end up beating the minnesota twins Two, basically two nothing because they swept them, winning the, the first two games clearly because, well, it's a sweep. But all the excuses that we're currently hearing from the baseball fans or the people that have just been crying about how the Astros cheated is the fact that Minnesota has a very poor losing streak in the postseason. And I don't want to hear it. The Minnesota Twins are a division winner. The Minnesota Twins have a pretty good pitching. Actually, we ended up beating that pitching they have a pretty good they have a pretty solid batting lineup as well so I don't want to hear it the Astros played well and that's why they got they got some luck because let's face it the hitting wasn't great and that's one thing I will take away I will say though the pitching ha has done very well mind you it ha wasn't really like they went in deep into the bullpen especially since they used from Valdez in game one out of the bullpen and then in the second game you had uh, Rayleigh and Christian Javier and of course closing it out with Presley so you didn't really go into your bullpen which is great because you don't really want to go into your bullpen um, especially when you'll need them in the ALDS but aside from that man just a really good series I think this is something that the Astros can build off of and hopefully can go into the next round especially when it's not a home field advantage for any of the teams so let's get going with our opponent for the ALDS and that is the Oakland A's all right, man, so the Oakland Athletics, if you guys don't know about this team, finished with a 36 and 24 record, which won the AL West, which is the division that the Astros are in, have a team, a team batting average of 225, have a team ERA of 3.77, have put up 274 runs, have allowed 232 runs, and have a run differential of plus 32. In hitting, they are top five in five hitting categories and are number one in two categories. And that is caught stealing and hit by pitch, which I find it very ironic that this is a team that's getting hit, getting hit more by pitches than the Astros, which apparently we were supposed to be the ones getting hit the most, but clearly that's not the fact. And caught stealing. Now, some of you might think that that means that they got caught stealing the most. Clearly, if they're highlighting it, that doesn't mean that. It means that they have been very efficient. They have been caught very few times. So that's what the stat means. Um, so this tells you one thing. These guys get on base, and two, these guys can steal. So you definitely want to take notice of those two statistics, at least those two statistics, to be very sure that this team can do something when they got guys on base. In pitching, they are top five in 10 pitching categories. They're not number one in any, but the fact that they're in the top five in some big categories could tell you pretty much what this pitching is all about and how 
this pitching has really been their big thing specifically well i'll get to what is specifically um in their pitching but the players to look out for is Mark Hanna on the hitting side. Mark Hanna has a 246 batting average with a 408 slugging with an OPS of 795 and has provided with 32 runs, which is the, the leading for this team. Mark Hanna is just a, is a consistent player, man. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Mark Hanna. I, I, I take props to him, man. He's a really good player and a solid fielder as well. So I definitely think that this guy is a player that they actually need to make sure that they can make sure he's not a big factor in this series. The second thing, which is going into the pitching side, and this is what I wanted to highlight, is not necessarily one player, but a group of players, and that is the Oakland Athletics bullpen, which to me consists of Liam Hendricks, J.B. Wendelkin, Joaquin Soria, and Yosmira Petet. These four guys together have an ERA of a 2.01, have a 1.04 whip, and have 109 strikeouts collectively. This bullpen is really solid, and this is kind of the reason why the Oakland Athletics are where they are right now. I mean, plus they have some pretty good, they have a pretty good lineup as well, but their pitching is able to keep them in these games. So you got to give props to where props are due for, and that is the bullpen. This bullpen has really been carrying this team this season. So that is who to look out for. So let's go ahead and give you my, my keys to win this series. All right, man. So here are my keys. You know, I always stick with three. One, use the momentum from Minnesota. You just came off of a big road series, a big road sweep against a really good team at home. I don't want to hear anything else from the other excuses. This is a team that's proven to be good at home, and the Astros are a proven team to be terrible on the road, and they were able to handle it. So use that momentum from that Minnesota series, especially now where you're in a neutral site, in a ballpark that you've had some success in. Whether or not you want to throw an asterisk on it, you do have that success there. Number two, the Bats need to wake up. Yes, we have had, we had some pretty good hits in that Minnesota series, but at the end of it all, the hitting was still not there for me. They still didn't take advantage of runners in scoring position. They still didn't, they weren't consistent hitting wise. And I understand that Minnesota has a pretty good pitching staff as well, but they got to be able to to do better, especially against the Oakland Athletics. And number three, get to the bullpen early, and I emphasize early more than anything else because. I'm going to be real with y'all. The starting pitching for the Oakland Athletics isn't that great. It's it's decent to good. I mean, the, the pitcher that I would definitely highlight the most is Bassett. But aside from that, most of the guys in, in this uh, pitch in the starting pitching rotation have an ERA around 4.0, some, somewhere around the 4.0s region and so above that. So the best their best pitcher is Bassett. But... With the fact that if these guys have a lead and they go to their bullpen, it's going to pretty much mean that they're going to have a pretty solid solid game, which also proves that also because the Astros have struggled against bullpens this season. So you definitely want to get early into these bullpens because the more they use this bullpen, the more tired they're going to be and the more the Astros can capitalize on them throughout the series, especially if we try to extend this series. So if we can get these bullpen arms going early and long, it's going to help out the Astros in the long haul. So those are the three keys to win this series. All right, man. So that is the preview for the ALDS. Um, it's really weird how this year is going. And it's weird to know that there's going to be someone else playing in Minute Maid Park for their playoff round. But, hey, it's 2020 at this point. Um, I know there's some people that feel that this format should, this playoff format should stay. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want it. Um over half the league goes on to the playoffs is is not something thrilling to me it, it kind of like it just doesn't seem fun and i know that like obviously me saying this is stating that it had had they kept that format the Astros wouldn't even be in the playoffs but I, there, there's just something about a team about you know about this ash about the mlb postseason where you know you're getting the best teams playing is just it's more satisfying and so I'm sorry, I just can't see this format going. I'll watch it regardless because I think playoff, playoff baseball is just the better playoff period. But it's this format is just not for me, man. I, I like the original format. Um, I'm not too much of a, the idea of making a wild card a series. I like I, I like the wild card game. It just adds more drama to it. Um, so that, there's my thoughts on that. But anyways, man, 
tell me your thoughts on, on, on this video. Make sure you guys like, make sure you subscribe to Saw Sports. If you guys have not yet subscribed, click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this. Or, of course, when we do our live streams from Monday to Friday around 6 p.m. Um, if you guys want a deeper discussion, make sure you guys join the Discord. You have two options. Join the Patreon, sign up for that $5 tier. Or become a member of the YouTube channel, sign up for that Super Saucy tier. And it'll, they'll both put you into Discord. Um, so, if you want that, there's that. There's that. Uh, we have a Twitter channel, so make sure you guys follow us on Twitter so you can go ahead and catch us on Twitch. Um, I'm going to try to get to be more active on Twitch, but like I just started an internship at, at Rice, and so that's going to hold me back, but I'm sure Wink will get on for some Madden Ultimate Team, but whenever I do get on, you'll see some MLB The Show, and then uh, FIFA's, FIFA 21 is almost coming out, so I'll be dropping some FIFA content whenever I can as well. So there is that. So... That's all I really got, man. So, chucking up a deuce. Y'all stay saucy and go Astros. Perfect.